Okay, you know the deal. I'm a big fan of Western Rise. I love all their clothing. And right now with spring and summer, this is the perfect time to get yourself one of their Merino wool t-shirts, their boundless shorts, their Evolution 2.0 pants, which I have been rocking around the house as I work from home. And right now with discount code ODIE, that's O-D-I-E, you can get 15% off your order. But right now Western Rise is having a gigantic sale. So if you use my link down below, some of their discounts are up to 40% off select items. And using my link gets my channel a little bit of kickback. But if an item is not on sale, that discount code ODIE at checkout will still get you 15% off. So either way, you're hooked up 15% off for an item that might not be discounted or severely discounted items at the store. So check out Western Rise, use the link down below or discount code ODIE, O-D-I-E, at checkout on with the video. Okay, something that I get asked quite a bit is about pouches. So I thought I'd make a video with my personal favorites and my own personal recommendations on tech pouches and like everyday carry pouches, not including toiletry kits or dop kits in this video. Let's get into it. Okay, so when it came to picking these pouches, I was going to take my like tech loadout and put it in each one so you could see how it'd be laid out. However, my tech loadout varies depending if it's going just down to the coffee shop, a small trip, a large trip, if I'm doing work, if I'm not doing work. It could be a variety of things, especially you know whether you're taking your laptop, maybe your charger is bigger than mine. So I figured instead I would just show you a variety of different sizes with different capabilities. Some of these are more dump page, dump, dump? pouch based and some of these are more organization or, or organizing based what what is happening what's happening oh i'm apologies that genuinely made me laugh because i just could not say the word organization or dump pouch for two seconds there so we've got a variety of sizes here that have a variety of uses and i'm going to show you all of them right now Okay, so I wanna start with two of my favorite smaller pouches. Now this is the Able Carry Stash Pouch, which is a small dump pouch that I like to use when I'm traveling specifically for like all my loose items. So like ibuprofen in a baggie, Dramamine, maybe like chapstick, loose coins, cash, things like that. It's just also a great dump pouch for like pins and other items. Now this is the Movement Slim or small case. Now this currently is what I use for my action camera. I have the DJI Action 2. I keep my extra Mavic Mini 3 blades in here and then all of my accessories that go with my Action 2. So this is a great small pouch with a couple little bit of small organization bits and then two larger organization bits. I use this pouch for a variety of different things. It's right now acting as my action camera pouch, but it has been used as a variety of other things and it is solid, especially if you need a slim, easy to transport smaller tech case that can kind of like take your chargers, your bricks and things like that. This is a great one. And this one from Able Carry is a great small dump pouch. Okay, speaking of dump pouches, my big dump pouch that I use for a variety of things is this Boundary Supply Renin pouch. Now I use this a lot to transport my PXC noise canceling 550 Bluetooth headphones because they're large. So if you have larger headphones, these are great for that but it's also just great if you need to bring a lot of bigger items sometimes i'll transport my drone with just the controller and the drone in here instead it also has a little velcro bit that has some extra organization here as well as some spots for cables this is a great pouch it's very durable doesn't take up a lot of space and has a quite a lot of variety of uses that i've been able to get out of this thing okay next up this is the larger pouch from movement now this one i like to use when i have a lot of stuff that i need to bring with me i'm talking if i got to bring a bunch of hard drives my chargers for my macbook all kinds of cables and stuff and this is typically the one i go towards because this one's not as bad if it gets bulky you have two larger items over here and then some really nice big spots for cables as well as a spot for a pin if you want to you know have like your apple pin or something like that then you have this divider wall on the other side more big spots for cables i like these because i can double up my cable so i can bring more especially if i'm bringing multiple hard drives and for my freelance work i work off of three hard drives so the more cable spots the better then you have this like velcro or not velcro i'm sorry I'm all over the place with my words. The zippered spot with the mesh, and then you have even extra smaller organization bits as well as larger bits, and you can also put stuff freely in here. I absolutely love this tech kit. It is a great one. And on the course of larger tech cases that are great, this Alpaca Elements tech case made from X-Pack material like that Able Carry one is another one that I really, really like. You have the outside zipper, Great hexagon, nice ripstop lining on the inside that is bright, bright, bright orange. 
Love that so you can easily see inside. Now this one, you have to be careful with bulkier items because if you have too many bulky items, it'll start to bulge and be difficult and you won't be able to close it. So this is pretty much one of my go-tos for like casual travel where I just need to bring casual items like maybe you know my MacBook charger because I'm not typically using my laptop in travel transit. Extra chargers for like my devices, headphones, extra notebooks, extra pins, extra dingles and dongles. You have two really nice big spots on this side as well as a pin spot and then an open area. This is where I typically put my hard drives. And then next to that, you have another open area with a zippered compartment. In this zippered flat, it's another great spot for smaller items. So this is another one. If I'm ever taking like my camera equipment places, this is a great spot to put camera batteries. Then another large open spot, a flat zippered pocket that I never use for like really, really thin flat items. And then just another large spot to dump items. So not a lot of organization, but great for bigger, bulkier items, as well as the material in this extra outside zippered pouch. Okay, now one of my personal favorites that I have been using since its debut is the Wandered Tech Kit Medium. They have a small and they have a large. I found the medium to be a perfect size for me because it is easy to transport and it can hold quite a bit of items. For one, you got that nice tarpaulin material with WeatherGuard YKK zips, so very weather resistant and a very durable pouch. This also has the fun ability with these gator clips to attach to the front of the Wandered Provoke, or you could attach it to other bags if it's the right dimension. But like the other one, you get a nice front compartment that's felt lined. This is great. And then on the inside, you've got one spot to dump, a couple organizer bits in the middle, and then some elastic organizers on the other side. No inside zipper pockets, nothing crazy, nothing fancy. But this for the longest time was my mobile filmmaking kit because I could put things like my DJI Pocket 2 as well as my action camera and extra accessories and stuff for these as well as my DJI mics. So this is a great little tech kit. I love Wander. This is one of my all time favorites. The larger one is great if you're gonna have a lot of gear. I found this medium one to be a great, like happy medium, ha ha ha. But overall, just one of my absolute favorites. And speaking of personal favorites, this is the modern Dayfair tech pouch. This is one of my, if not my all time favorite because it's not only simplistic, but super, super handy. It's a flat design, YKK zipper, weather guard zip, you open it up, you've got two zippered guys on one side, one a little bit larger, one a little bit smaller, made from Cordura, by the way. And then you have this giant elastic bit with some spots here for cables. Why I love this is this giant elastic bit over here, I can put my MacBook Pro charger and then two power bricks with cables attached ready to go. So at all times, I have three chargers for any devices that I need ready to go. Hard drive can fit here and then extra accessories can fit here. Not to mention because it's this design of this like lay flat, a lot of travel bags will have that flat pocket on the outside towards the front, and this usually slides in there very, very nicely. One of my absolute favorites. And speaking of other personal favorites, this is one from Side by Side that I've been gravitating towards a lot more recently, and this is the one that I would recommend for people that need to bring a bunch of stuff because you have this zipper compartment here that has elastic. This is great for your bulky items. So I would usually put my MacBook Pro charger here, power bricks, even my hard drives. Everything can fit in here because you have that elasticity to kind of give you some stretch on this side. And it doesn't interfere with all of this organization on this side. Spots here for cables, you've got an RFID safe, zippered pocket here, extra cable spots here, even more cable spots here. Oh, what's this? More cable spots here, spot for a pin here, and then a nice little like elastic behind the pouch. Now, typically when I run this, all my bulky items and charging bricks will go in this elastic, elastic bit here. I will eventually get that word right. And then all the cables and dongles and extra things that I need will go over here. This is a great one, another slim design, easy to transport, lots of organization. Can get a little bulky if you pack it out, but that's kind of what it's meant for. And the last one on the list and the one that I most recently talked about is this one from July. Now this one I like for my EDC, specifically going down to my local coffee shop where now they know me by name and doing some work. This has a clear hard shell on either side with just a little bit of pin, not pin, this is cable, organization right here. Behind this flap is how you get to the other clear side. This is great because I can just put like all of my chargers and bricks and stuff on one side, extra cables and then hard drive get to the cafe and you have to be careful how you open it, but you just open it like this, all of your loose items here, your cables, and I can just work. And it works really nice, not to mention the fact it's durable and it's built really, really solid. 
So there you have it. Those are my personal recommendations and some of my personal favorites when it comes to tech kits, whether it be for travel, EDC, around the house, or whatever it is you might need it for. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns about any of those ones that I went through, they're all are going to be linked down below as well as time coded in this video so you can easily find those. And if you like one, you can go to the website and look into it a little bit more. Thank you guys again so very much for all the love and support you give this channel. It means the absolute world to me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that wonderful nonsense, and I will see you next time.